This is the plaintiff, Karen Thurlow. She says she agreed to buy a truck from the defendant for $6,000, wrote him a check, and he said he'd mail the title to her. A month later, all she got was a bill demanding another $1,348 bucks for the truck. She refuses to be extorted. The defendant illegally repossessed the truck, and she's suing the crook for $5,000. The state max. This is the defendant, Noel Farbman. He says he was as clear as a bell with the plaintiff, his wife's newly divorced friend. The truck was 7,300 plus tax. She gave him a deposit of five grand and told him she'd pay off the balance in a month. The plaintiff then hid the truck for three months, but he tracked it down, repoed it, and here they are. He's accused of asking for more and more money. All right, sir, just step over from me. You can get the paperwork later, thank you. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought a truck from the defendant for six grand. The plaintiff never got title and the defendant right. demanded more the money. But the defendant says the price was never six grand, it was more. It's the case of forget, keep on trucking. She just wants to start. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Karen Thurlow, you are suing Noel Farbman and USA Wholesale Scooters and Noel Motors. Represented here by Mr. Farbman. You're the owner? Yeah. Yes. All right. For $5,000, um, the you're actually out, according to you, in excess of the statutory maximum. You say you're out $6,000 that you paid for a truck that you want him to return your money on. Tell me what's going on. Um, it all started on May 20th of 2011. Um, uh, he's, we talked about him looking for a truck for me. Um, he asked me how much I could spend on a truck. I said $6,000 is the limit I could go with. Um, gave him a check for $6,000. He found me a truck. I gave him the check for $6,000 um, with the keys he gave me. After I gave him the check, he gave him the keys. Where's and the paperwork on the sale? Um, the bill uh, of sale, I, the contract for the purchase no of the car? No bill of sales. No bill of sale. Why was there no bill of sale? He never gave me a bill of sales. There has to be a bill of sale and a contract for the purchase of the car. Hello? There was a bill of sale originally. Can I see it? I don't have one. How can you not, see, how can you not have one when because it's your it's, business it's and this is the- It's four years ago. It's four years But this years is the ago. entire, pr the, it's not more than four no, years ago. three years and, ago. Okay. Did you have it three years yes, ago? Yes, absolutely. Was there a bill of sale anywhere? Absolutely. The Department of Motor Vehicle had it. Okay. Do, you, do you have something to show me today to show me what the purchase price of the car was? Yes. This is the readout of the car itself, of all of what I paid What's for. What's a readout? It. Well, what I had into the vehicle. <laughs> no, this is you writing on a piece of paper. Yes. Okay, I'm going to use this as a doily for my water. Okay. Now I want you to give me something that is actually of legal significance. Anything. H how did you lose these, this paperwork? Yeah, well, it's been two No, it doesn't matter, this Vincent. You I, know you're supposed to keep it longer I, than that. Well, after she went to three different agencies. Are you telling me every two years you throw out paperwork? What, come no, on. No, no, no. I can, You're just supposed couldn't find to have. You should have found this, right? I, I believe me. I searched. I, I couldn't know. find it. So you lost this, right? Probably. It's probably in my office somewhere, but I cannot find it. Yeah, I should make you more nervous than that. You should have looked harder. Mm. Wow. All right. So according to you, you were supposed to pay six, and according to you, she was supposed to pay what? Seventy-three fifty. Okay. And what happens? You pay him six and yeah. you get the car. You have a canceled have, check for six. Ch There's nothing on the memo line. Doesn't say partial payment, full no. payment, says nothing. nothing. Go on. Um, so <laughs> after I have had the truck for like a month. But wait, when you paid oh. in full and for six, where was the title? He told me it was in the mail. It would be in the mail. I would get it like three, four weeks later. Never got it. Who's the guy who keeps interrupting you? <laughs> who is he to you? My boyfriend. Okay. Um, so did you ever get a title? No. He, what ended what, up happening? He ended up doing, he, my, my brother can explain this. Oh, um, I thought that was your boyfriend. <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh. The guy interrupting is your brother then. Okay. okay. So. What we have is the title DMV provided to us. And we also have... Okay, but you never ha got a title from him. Why not? He kept saying it was... Well, forget him. I want to know what, oh. what's in your brain. I know. I just... I, well, what? Well, finally, 
what happened was he ended up repoing my no, car. No, no, I know. Got the title. What's in your brain when you hand a guy six grand and you don't even own the car because he doesn't hand you the title? That's what See, I'm asking. I was, I was what? I was married for 20 years. My ex-husband took care of everything. I didn't, didn't know to ask for a title buying my first truck. My Where was your brother at the time? <laughs> at that time that she gave the check, I wasn't there. Yeah. All through the rest of the process, I had right. Did So did she tell you she didn't get a title? Yeah, and then we kept asking him, well, where's the title? How come this is you know, being done like this? And what this? was his answer? Uh, I can't find it right now. It'll be sent to you through the mail. But at some point, this answer changes, and it's you owe me money. You still haven't finished paying for it. When did the answer change and become that? He sent me, he sent me a piece of paper. I have horses. His girlfriend had, had a horse. He put it in my horse's, um, I have a little place for my, for my hay. He put a piece of paper in there saying that I owe him another $1,348. I'm like, what, really? No, I don't. I gave you a check, you gave me the keys, and off I went. So I don't so know So did you ever 13... call him back and say to him, what are you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, you I did. That. I said, I told you $6,000 is all I could afford for a truck. So I don't know where this 1348 is coming from, Noel. I don't know. And then d did he say to you, I'm not giving you the title till you finish paying me? Yeah. Why don't they well, have, the, why didn't she have the title? I had the title because I was the lien holder. I had the paper here from the DMV showing. Right, you filed the lien on her because according to you, she needs to pay you more. She didn't finish paying for it. Correct. But and you don't have a stitch of proof that she has agreed to pay you more than what she paid you that day. Well, I do here because right here on the motor vehicle papers, sales tax is $441. That would be on seventy three fifty. How do I know that? Prove that. Well, it's 6% in Florida. No, honey, you're not picking up what I'm putting down, are you? Your defense is she hasn't finished paying for the car. That entails you proving that she has to pay more for the car than what she says you agreed to. Correct. I see a payment to you of 6000 yes. If that is a partial payment, then the missing link here is you proving to me that she agreed to purchase a car for 73 whatever. Right. This is, do you own a dealership? Yes. So you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, I know exactly, yeah. It's That's like, why it, you're, right you're in violation here. of several regulatory rules to not have the paperwork. So really, I don't even know how you were able to get the lien on, but you got a lien on, and then what happened? Then the car gets uh, repoed, but not before she hid it for a while. Yes. Okay, and you believe she was hiding it because you had told her, I'm gonna repossess it if you don't pay me the additional money. Yes. That you cannot prove in my court that she owed you. Because yes. you have no paperwork as a dealer. All right. Um, I mean, I'm used to people coming in here and saying I lost my paperwork, the dog ate my homework. I'm just not used to dealers telling me that they lost dealership paperwork. And I know that you guys were kind of friends, right? Yes. I was friends with his, his girlfriend. Right. And according to you, you were kind of trying to help her out because she had just gotten a divorce and she was kind of lost and so you're trying to hook her up. So was there ever paperwork in this case? Or was it all verbal? No, it was paperwork. Oh. And you guys don't have the paperwork? Uh, here's what we have. This is the application for certificate of title without registration. Uh, Which who uh, filled out? Uh, Mr. Fraubin, we believe, because okay. we weren't there when he filled it out, obviously, so. Okay. This is, but the signature at the bottom of this document is not her signature. It's, it says her name there, but it's not her signature. I we have so. notarized documents that predate this transaction that will show what her signature actually looks like. Let me see the document that you're talking about. This is the, the document hand. we're talking yeah. about. Here are the notarized documents that show her signature. You want a license? Yeah, you got a license no. on you? My license? No, 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 her license so I can see how she signs. Did you ever ask your right. sister, let me see the contract you signed? We never yeah, and, and we tried to get it from him. We, the only no, did you ever ask your sister, what the heck? Why'd you let go of six right. grand without a contract? Well, I knew why, because her husband, as she spoke uh, about before, handled everything for her during her marriage. I know, but you can still go like this. And uh, well, I know. Okay. I know. I told <laughs> Maybe her not, not to, physically, but honestly, proverbially. Honestly, I told her not to deal with him in the first place, because I knew he was a crook. Did you sign this on her behalf somehow? Application for certificate of title without registration? Absolutely not. She ha her teas are nothing like this tea. This is somebody else's tea. She has a really weird kind of tea that looks like a backward K. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Especially because her first name starts with a K. And it's uh, on every document, including her paperwork from this court case and her license. This is some absolutely somebody else signing. Okay. Whose signature is this? Because it's not hers. So, do 
Men take advantage of women when it comes to buying cars? Yes, of course, all the time. Why of course? Because women don't know that much about cars, so... They That's a pretty general statement. Is that a true statement? I think so. Why is that? I don't know. I think that they just play on our emotions versus the facts. Well, but do you let your emotions get in the way? No. We want pretty things. Yeah, exactly. We want pretty <laughs> things. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. Who did the paperwork? The girl that used to work for me. Oh, the woman that used to work for you, right? The woman. Okay. That's, uh, somebody else signed this. It wasn't her. I can tell you that. We don't need an expert to, to conclude that. So you, you repossess the car. What happens with the car? You sell it? Yes. But there was some delay in the sale. Yes. Talk to me about that. It was held up by the Broward County Sheriff's Department until they can investigate the whole situation. Because you didn't have the paperwork then either? No, because she put in a complaint against me, and they had to follow up to see what the complaint What kind of complaint? Um, that I that repossessed What kind of car. complaint did you put in with the Sheriff's Department? That he repossessed my car and that without you didn't any know knowledge. money. Well, repossessions are usually without your knowledge. <laughs> but usually, I thought that in Florida, they come, a sheriff comes to you, to your house or something, and tells you. No, notifying you that they're going to take your car is clearly not one of them because there wouldn't be a lot of repossessions if that were the case. <laughs> I can tell you. You know why I can tell you? <laughs> Douglas, tell her why I can tell her. You're looking at the repo man. I was a repo man <laughs> in a prior life. <laughs> I actually uh, worked for a bank doing repossessions. I, I, was, I had a nice deep voice when I was 19 years old and in college, but so I wasn't actually physically allowed by my parents to go out and actually physically repossess the car, but I did several times. Put your hand down, I'm talking and it's interesting. Okay. <laughs> you make me feel like you have no interest in what I'm saying. Like, ah, ah. Okay. Um, but what I don't understand is why would it take the Broward Sheriff's Department a year to investigate this, why don't you just show them, show them your contract at that point? I hired an attorney. He did everything he had to well, do. Well, then if you hired an attorney, your attorney would have a copy of your contract. The district attorney's office had a hold on it also until they straightened all, whatever they straightened Straighten out. Straighten what? I, I come out? I mean, dude, I, help yourself out. I don't know help what they straightened out. Help yourself out a little. Show me yeah, but you can't. Did you really think that you were going to fly in here from Florida as a dealer and be able and, and be sued over capriciously repossessing a car? and come in without a stitch of proof. Now that I hear that even if you couldn't find it in your office, you could have called your lawyer and said, hey, do you have a copy of the contract? You could have called the Broward Sheriff's Department and said, hey, did I give you a copy of the contract? You could have gone to the state of Florida and said, when I perfected this lien, did I give you? You could have done a thousand things. You walked in with your hands in your pocket and you're looking at me saying, mm, mm. all right, well then, hmm, back. Okay, you used it for seven months. That's worth something. You don't get to use cars for free for seven months. All right? You paid him six. I'm gonna find that the use of the car is worth two. I'm gonna order you to return $4,000 to the plaintiff. That's my judgment. Well, here comes the car dealer. Let's see what he has to say about the outcome of this case. What, what, uh, what comment here? I should have had my paperwork in order, and I didn't for whatever reason. But there was a contract, and uh, that's why she didn't pay, and that's why I repossessed yeah, it. Yeah, well, you should have had your paperwork in order, and how can you come in here with no proof like that? Well, you, I, I when, have, you're, when you're a dealer. Because I have the paperwork from the motor vehicle. I thought that would be proof enough. That's not giving Judge Millian a lot of credit. I, she I, requires more than that. I understand You should have known that. All right, round the corner this way. Sure. Okay, so come on in here. Tell me what your feeling is on the outcome here and what you got out of it. <sighs> I'm just glad it's over with, finally. Um, it's taken two and a half years for this, and uh, I'll never, ever do business with that man again. Uh, your bro says he told you that he saw the handwriting on the wall there. What'd you see? I knew he was a crook. Just How'd looking you? at him, I knew he was a crook. <laughs> but I've also talked to other people who have done business with him and not come out on the... Right. On a very good uh, end of it. Right, and so you didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know this at when this- Why didn't you listen Two and to a half it? years ago, I did not know this. He didn't tell you? But, well, no. Thank, thanks for asking, though. <laughs> Harvey. Okay, even though the deal was undone, the judge made the plaintiff pay for the use of the truck because it's only fair.